I'm grateful that it happened. Obviously, I got my life back. And This is Tyler Kilroe. He was diagnosed with kidney failure. Even though he has health issues of his own, 27-year-old Andrew Camacho didn't take a second thought when he decided he wanted to save his best friend. Camacho lives in Kitchener, Ontario and currently attends Conestoga College for the broadcast journalism program. Camacho was born with a condition called microthalmia. And usually if you have microthalmia, uh, you have no sight whatsoever because uh, basically your eyes just stop developing. When he was 16, while attending the W. Ross McDonald School for the Blind and Deaf in Brantford, Camacho met Tyler Kilroe. Uh, we sort of started becoming friends, or at least starting to talk to each other, because we had a similar interest in music. Uh, specifically, he had the new Blink-182 album, and everybody knew about it, and that's kind of how we became friends. Since birth, Kilroe has faced a plethora of health complications, including being diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. It can be terminal. Um as it's a progressive disease and it, it, it yeah, most people who have it, who are diagnosed at a young age, they don't typically ling lo live long lives. CF caused Kilroe to have to undergo a lung transplant at the young age of 15. It resulted in an unexplainable infection in his bloodstream, which ultimately led to his vision impairment. He has a lot of health issues, so um, when he was at school, you know, he would be there for a long period of time, but then he would just kind of disappear and it was because he was sick or he was in the hospital. In 2013, Kilroe told Camacho that he had been diagnosed with kidney failure and for the second time in his life. I think we were just talking about uh, the situation and he said, if you're, if you're interested, you know, you can call Toronto General, the transplant clinic, and uh, they'll send you this package if you're interested in becoming a donor. and. Yeah, it kind of, there was no really second thought. It was just kind of yeah, like, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll see what I can do. And it kind of worked out. He knew that his best friend was the person he could count on. If anyone was going to offer and go through with it, I knew it was going to be him. So when he did, yeah, I'm going to put a smile on my face, absolutely. The two anticipated the surgery would be done in the summer of 2013. Unfortunately, it was postponed until December. Health professional Dr. Pradeep Saxena explains what risks Camacho took as a donor. For the recipient, uh, the risks are slightly more because you will be on medications which will be uh, immunosuppressants. By immunosuppressants, I mean that your immunity will be suppressed by various drugs to increase the acceptance of the kidney in your body. Since your immunity is reduced, you are prone to more infections. Despite the large risk of infection, not only for Camacho, but for Kilro as well, the recovery process went fairly smoothly. Well, the kidney started working right away, so there was no actual issues with the kidney. The main recovery process was just the incision. Camacho faced one minor complication. Um, at one point, my incision opened up, and it was just pouring blood everywhere. Uh, so I had to be rushed to the hospital once. Fortunately, it was smooth sailing after that. It has been just over a year since the surgeries took place, and both Kilroe and Camacho remain in good health. Camacho says his day-to-day -day positivity is thanks to his best friend. Uh, you know, honestly, um, I kind of, uh, I kind of picked it up from him. Um, I mean, like this guy's gone through, you name it, like every, every horrible thing that can pretty much happen to a human being, and. Uh, He's probably one of the most positive people I know. Despite living in different towns, the two still keep in touch and get together to chat and watch Andrew's enormous movie collection. Kilroe knows just how lucky he is to have such an amazing person like Andrew as his best friend. It just goes to show that everyone in life is going through a struggle. Getting through these struggles is what friends are for. There's not enough time to be negative, you know. I, like, it sounds kind of cliche to say, I guess, but, you know, you just don't have time for it. For Spoke TV, I'm Marion De Palma.